Hello, this is Elijah of the New Paradigm Toolkit, and I'm here to look at relationship states, and there's six of them. And first of all, let's look at the flow wheel. And then there's nine different lenses on the flow wheel, and one of the lenses at 2.6 is relationships right here. And so if I'm looking through that lens and then looking through the choice lens of state, we have these six states. So we have dark lords, mind control zombies, asleep, awakening, awakened being, and spiritual masters. Now this may be a little bit strange for some people, some of us are spiritual in nature and we have our own sort of judging system to place people where we think they are at. And some people are at the top, spiritual masters, and some people let's say at the bottom at dark lords. Now the dark lords, I would say, are beings or entities that don't really care about their impact of negativity on those they affect. They have plans to acquire resources to subjugate people and to basically be the evil ones that you see in movies, the bad guys, so to speak. They have no mercy for the good uh, spiritual masters and they're on this planet to control it. And so if there's a spiritual war, it's basically between these two parts with the rest in between deciding or not deciding which side of the line that you're on. Mind control zombies seem to be what they're trying to create out of humans that don't think that uh, their brains have been taken over and they're acting like zombies, which is a little bit different from a sleep, where sleep is just your unconscious. You don't really understand anything about spiritual matters and you don't understand that you're a spiritual being. Then you awaken to the fact that you are, you have a spiritual experience. I mean, it, it really means something to have an experience where all doubt is removed. All of a sudden, you just know. And if you had that type of experience, then you know. And if you haven't, uh, you sort of have to aim at it. You have to open to it. Sometimes it can come just as a result of happenstance. But for the most part, it's because people are desiring it or wanting it. And then they go through a, a series of circumstances where it actually happens. And then once you sort of awaken to your divine nature, then it's up to you to sort of purify yourself, to heal your wounds, to go through the process of actualizing your true potential. And when you do that, you become a spiritual master. Now, <clears throat> who's to say where other people are on this spectrum? It is up for you to decide where you are and it's up for you to decide where you think other people are. This is just a map that you're looking at the territory and it's up for you to figure out who is who.